After examining a typical assignment question in video 2, this video explains how to interpret additional instructions provided together with that assignment question. After watching the video, you can practice interpreting more assignment questions and instructions at the AI's learning platform and analyze the model answers and comments provided there. Also, you can bring your assignment questions and instructions given to you for small group discussions and get useful feedback from teachers and fellow students at Write Advice. After you have planned how to answer the assignment questions, it is time for you to consider the kind of text you need to write. What is it that you are being asked to produce? Is it an essay? Is it a report? A research log? A critique? A proposal? If it is an essay or a report, what do essays and reports look like? You really need to know the answer to these questions. How can you write something if you do not really know what it looks like? You may start by examining the instructions provided in the module outline or in the assignment description. If you cannot really find the answer there, you may go back to your teacher and ask, what kind of text am I supposed to write? What does it look like? Can I see an example? Let us look at a sample of instructions connected with the question we saw in video 2 and examine the kind of text we are being asked to write in this assignment. The first thing you can see is that you are being asked to produce two assignments in connection with the same question, assignments 1a and 1b. Assignment 1a is defined as a problem and solution essay based on research findings. What research findings are these? First, you are asked to identify existing problems with the urban development of the Hong Kong harbour and write a first draft analysing those problems. After that, you need to propose solutions and offer recommendations. Assignment 1b is called an analytical report and you can see it is a bit longer than Assignment 1a. The instructions also mention that this analytical report is based on Assignment 1a. Now you need to ask yourself, what is the difference between these two texts? What is a problem and solution essay? What is an analytical report? What do these texts look like? If you read the instructions carefully, you can see that you are first asked to write a draft essay where you identify problems affecting the development of the Hong Kong harbour. You then analyse those problems and propose solutions. By looking at the number of words you need to write, you can roughly guess you need to cover two or three problems in a total of six paragraphs, applying a problem-solution pattern. For instance, one paragraph explaining a problem, followed by another paragraph detailing a solution, and so on. The structure of assignment 1b seems pretty clear in the instructions. You need to write about 1,200 words, including an introduction, main body, conclusion, and a reference list. Typically, these sections should be organized like a Russian doll. The big doll is the entire assignment, which contains smaller dolls that can be read independently from each other, like smaller individual texts. What is the reason behind this organization? Very simple. When we use a Russian doll structure, we make it easy for readers to navigate through the text. To save time, people may not need to read the entire text from beginning to end, unless they really wish to do so. Instead, they can concentrate on reading the introduction to identify the problems being discussed in the report. After reading the introduction, they can read the conclusion, where solutions to the problems identified in the introduction are going to be highlighted. If the readers want to read about the problems and solutions in detail, they can go to the main body, where all the data should be provided. Assignment 1a, what we called before the problem-solution essay, now becomes the basis for the main body in Assignment 1b. Remember, this is where you fully explain the problems and the solutions you have researched. So, for Assignment 1b, you may wish to edit what you drafted in Assignment 1a, expanding on some points and adding some details here and there. To complete the rest of Assignment 1b, you just need to write a good introduction and a conclusion. The introduction needs to be short, because you want to save the words for the main body. In the introduction, you can include an opening paragraph, which should end with a problem statement, also called a thesis statement. There, you highlight the problem or problems you are going to discuss in the main body. After the problem statement, you can write your purpose statement, where you tell your reader what this report tries to achieve. In the conclusion, you briefly summarize the solutions and recommendations you have identified for each problem. The first paragraph of your introduction is quite important, because it helps you set the scene for the entire discussion. There are many ways of writing this first paragraph, of course. I am going to show you only one way here. You want to get to the point straight away, because you have a limited number of words for the entire assignment, and you do not need a long introduction, right? So, try to use the words Hong Kong and harbour in your first sentence, 
and use this first sentence to provide some focus, for instance, by emphasizing the importance of the harbor for Hong Kong. Next, signal a transition to the problem statement using a connector like however, which indicates a contrast between a positive idea, i.e. the importance of the harbor, and a negative one, i.e. the problems you want to discuss. In the problem statement, you introduce the central arguments you are developing for the entire assignment. We also call this a thesis statement. In this particular assignment example, the thesis statement should highlight the problems you are going to discuss in greater detail in the main body. So the thesis statement and the problem statement are the same thing here. The last thing you need to do in the introduction is to state your purpose, that is, what you are trying to achieve with your assignment. As we have said before, you are trying to identify solutions after analyzing some problems related to the Hong Kong harbor, right? So highlight that point in your purpose statement and also mention how you have come up with those solutions. What method or approach have you employed? The conclusion stands as an individual text inside the entire assignment. As such, the conclusion could be read on its own and still make sense to everyone. Remember the Russian doll concept? So what do you do in the conclusion? You summarize the entire report there, highlighting the solutions you have identified for each problem. This needs to be done quickly. The conclusion should be very short because the reader can always find the details in the main body. This video has discussed how important it is to read your assignment instructions carefully and to consider the kind of text you need to write based on the instructions you have received. Following the Russian doll concept, you will need to write the different sections of your assignment in such a way so that they can be read independently without one having to read the entire text from beginning to end. This video has also illustrated how to organize the different sections of an assignment using the patterns of a problem-solution essay and an analytical report.